Pretty spooky, huh, guys? Uh, here we are on the set of Ghosts in our opera house in Albemarle, North Carolina. I'm going to go up here. This is where we have one of our uh, death sequences coming up for this weekend. We are actually here testing the stunt, um, making sure everything is safe for our actor. And uh, we've decided to change things. We were going to kind of shoot it practically, but um, we're going to have just have to use just a touch of CG enhancement, which is something I'm not entirely thrilled about. But safety is most important. Remember that. You never want to endanger your cast or your crew, especially not your cast. And uh, we don't want to do that. So we're going to uh, do our best to get our shot and make sure nobody gets hurt. So you can see what we have everything set up here. There's our hole that our actor goes into. Up there's where our scary ghosts are. Woo! And out here we have our lights. There's our cinematographer, Mr. Gio Swanko, setting up the camera. And right over here is our digital effects expert. Hey, what's up? You got Johnny Brento, the visual effects artist on Ghost. Uh, just going to talk a little bit about a shot that we ha have set up and originally had planned to do practically, but in the actual testing of the shot, we discovered it to be unsafe somewhat. So, uh, in this case, we're going to try two different approaches just to make sure we have it completely covered because we're a three three man team. Lots of times on the practical shoot date, so it's really fast to move things around and do it two different ways. So we'll just make sure we have it covered. The first way is going to involve just shooting the shot and then simply rotoscoping the actor out for two to three frames and uh, and doing something special with that and then uh, the other approach will be using chroma key and having a green screen set up behind them evenly lit where your shadow does not project upon it so that we can take the one performance and uh, chroma key it out and uh, work our magic on that so we'll see which one we go with uh, when we get a chance to look at them but we're here on the actual spot that the the shot is in so that the lighting is identical it actually won't even be moved for the uh, the version we use with rotoscoping, so I'm I'm pretty got a high level of confidence it's going to come off pretty pretty realistic, and that's what you want when it comes to CGI. Sounds good, Brento. Thanks for that explanation. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little quick peek behind the scenes. This is what we're doing two days before our shoot, so we're ready when our cast and crew gets here. And uh, there's no guesswork involved. We've done our, our homework ahead of time. Remember, always do that homework. And always check us out at Mutantville.com. Find us on Facebook, Mutantville Players. Join our Mutantville.com uh, group over there. We're putting all kinds of horror information, um, endless amounts of filmmaking resources. And we want you guys to come on there and discuss. Leave us comments. Leave us feedback. You know, subscribe. Tell your friends to join up. You know, the MVP marketing machine is just getting started. We're just now planting the seeds. Um, you know, we're really not going to press the button on it until the end of the year um, once Ghost is ready and everything is uh, ready to ship out to the masses. So make sure you, you plug yourself in. We're, we're going to share as much of much of our secrets and info as we have to give to you um, just because, you know, we all need to help each other. So we'll see you next time, guys. Later.